Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info. Today we're reviewing the reviews of the OnePlus 7T. Is it a phone you should be thinking about buying? Let's find out. So today we're starting a new segment called Reviewing the Reviews. Basically we go out and we look at all the different reviews for a product uh, from some of the biggest names on YouTube to some of the smaller names on YouTube as well as some written sources such as Android Authority, Droid Life and whatnot, Tom's Guide. We take all this information and we try to compile uh, what people are saying about a phone and or another piece of electronics and we'll actually be assigning uh, certain categories specific letter grades to help you decide if it's a purchase you want to make or not. This is not supposed to take the place of deeper, more in-depth reviews. In fact, we're going to include some links in the description of some of those reviews that we watched to help educate our decision. But this is just kind of a summary, a quick look, a quick gathering of information to see if you even want to do that deeper dive or if you just want to see what a bunch of people are saying about the device as opposed to just one or two reviews. So. Without uh, any more wait, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is the design or the form factor of this phone. The screen is, is apparently very gorgeous. It does have a notch, but most people don't seem to mind it. It's a very small notch. In fact, it might be the smallest notch I've ever seen on a phone. It's even smaller than the notch that was on the original OnePlus 7. So I don't think that's going to be a big deal to people and it's got that 6.5 inch 90 hertz refresh rate now which means it refreshes at a higher rate people who've used these 90 hertz screens like the one on the 7 pro love it they say they're never going to go back so i think the fact that they've brought this down to the regular model to the 7t the non-pro is very cool the screen is flat not curved which for me is a plus i don't care for curved screens i think most people prefer flat screens although i know that's not the case with everybody um, as far as speakers go, sound, apparently it has very good stereo speakers, not the best, they're not both forward firing, but most people seem to think they're, they're plenty good to get the job done. They're apparently very loud. They're Dolby certified. So that's good. Some downsides to it. There's no headphone jack, which still bugs some people. Um, there's no wireless charging, which may bug you. And there's not an IP rating, although... I don't think the IP rating's a big deal. Certain reviewers have put this phone underwater. Dave 2D, in fact, did an entire review of the OnePlus 7 Pro underwater, and he even opened up the pop-up camera underwater, and the thing still worked. And I think the review was like 10 minutes. So I don't feel like water is an issue. I feel like OnePlus makes phones that if you drop it in water and take it out of the water, which most people do, I appreciate the fact that iPhone's making phones you can keep under four meters of water for 10 minutes or whatever, but that's usually not how this goes. Usually you drop it in some water, you scream, you get it out of the water. Um, at the end of the day, look, it's not the most modern looking phone ever. Like I said, the OnePlus 7 Pro had that pop-up camera with really the bezel-less design, but it's a good looking phone, especially when considered the price point. Most people are going to absolutely love this screen. We're going to give the design of this phone a B plus moving on let's talk performance this is really easy uh, the performance on this thing's amazing 855 plus the overclock snapdragon 855 chip which not a lot of phones have right now the samsung note 10 doesn't have it um, very few phones outside of hardcore gaming phones have this chip this phone has it it's got eight gigs of ram it's got usf or u yeah ufs3 storage it's fast it's really fast you're not going to have any issues with performance on this phone even if there is a phone out there that's technically quicker it's not going to be appreciable it's not going to be noticeable performance is really top tier in the android world uh, this one's easy it's an a moving on so now for the camera the camera reviews for this phone have actually been quite good which is a big deal because one of the Achilles heels with OnePlus phones in the past has kind of been people not loving the cameras. They'll say the phones are great, the cameras are just okay or pretty good. It seems like they've stepped up their game with the 7T. People are really liking the camera. In fact, CNET gave it a 9 out of 10, which is a really high score. Not to say it's perfect. Some people think the colors are a little warm uh, with the processing, 
but in any case generally speaking it's reviewing well it's got the standard three cameras set up now with the regular wide and telephoto lenses it's got times two optical zoom not the times three found on the pro but still not bad it's uh it's even got a macro feature on it which allows you to take close-up shots of things that are uh, as close as two and a half centimeters which is actually pretty cool i was just shooting a video review for the m5 card phone and it's got a one inch screen on it i had trouble keeping the camera in focus when i was looking at that screen because i had to get so close this would have actually been a really nice feature to have if you uh have specific things you want to know about the camera i strongly recommend you go to uh the link down in the description mr who's the boss aaron does a great uh review of this camera up against the iphone 11 and the uh, Note 10, and you can really kind of decide if it's a camera that's good enough for your use, but generally, people are really liking this thing. We're gonna go ahead and give the camera a B plus. Moving on, so the battery. Most people are saying the battery on this thing is, you know, it's okay, it's good. Um, it's 3,800 milliamp hours, which is not bad, but you're, you've got a 6.5 inch screen with a 90 hertz refresh rate, so that's gonna dig into it pretty good. Um, most people are saying that it gets you through the day. It's not going to be an issue. The feather in this thing's cap that's really nice is it does have super fast warp charging. It's got a 30 watt charger that comes in the box, by the way, uh, that's supposed to be significantly quicker than the one that was even in the last OnePlus phones. And uh, apparently it can, it can charge your phone up to 70% in a half hour. So if that's true, and there have been some people out there who have actually tested this and kind of shown it to be true, that's pretty good. Uh, there's actually a video review out there uh, from a gentleman. He goes by the name of The Unlocker. I don't remember his real name. I apologize for that. But the, it's spelled uh, T-H-E and then U-N-L-O-C-K-R. And he does a great review of this phone. Uh, he uses it all day, talks about the battery life, shows what he did during the day uh, so you can kind of decide for yourself if the battery is good enough for you he also tests the camera as well so I'll put a link down to that video down in the bottom but basically the battery good not great but with the fast charging with the warp charging that definitely will help uh, we're gonna give this grade for the battery we're gonna give it a B so some other miscellaneous features about this phone uh, it runs oxygen 10 out of the box um, it runs oxygen the, the oxygen skin, which most people would say is the best third-party skin that you can get on any phone. OnePlus is also really good about their updates. Their last generation of phones, the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro, are already running Android 10. Uh, they're apparently going to bring out, roll out Android 10 to the 6 line later this month. So oneplus does a really good job with their software that's one of the neatest things about this company is they don't only bring good hardware at a good price but they also take care of you on the software side of things um, it's got other things like a zen mode if you don't want to be disturbed when you're doing things it's got a game mode once again uh, if you don't want to be disturbed when you're gaming it also allocates your resources toward the game to give you even better gaming performance um, and it's supported on all networks so whether you have at&t verizon sprint uh, T-Mobile doesn't matter you can get the phone directly from OnePlus it'll work on all the major carriers here in the US you'll also be able to purchase it in store from T-Mobile so miscellaneous features uh, with this phone we're gonna go ahead we're gonna give it an A minus it doesn't have the most extra special features in the world but I think it's definitely got a lot of or most of the features that you're going to want so Overall score for this phone when you factor in price, which is $599, which is pretty amazing when you consider you get top-end specs with a gorgeous screen, with a good camera. I mean, when you, when you look at the total package of this device, the $599 price point is really tough to beat. Um, is it perfect? No. Like I said, it is missing a headphone jack. It doesn't have the official IP rating. Uh, it doesn't have wireless charging. It does have the small notch. I mean, no one's going to say that this phone is perfect, but for $599, it's about as good as you're going to get. So looking at the reviews and what everybody has to say about this, we're going to go ahead and give this phone an A-. minus. Um, once again, it's not quite perfect, but I think you're going to be really satisfied with it if you pick it up, especially for the money. So 
If you have any other phones that you'd like us to uh, review the reviews on and kind of summarize what people are saying about it, drop me a line in the comments. Let me know. I'll try to uh, do a review of that phone at some time in the near future. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to give us a thumbs up and a sub. Until next time, this has been Rando Tech Info, signing out.